Welcome back on our part 2 of our discussion in which we will proceed with the topic of network documentation. You know, designing and documenting network infrastructure is an essential aspect of ensuring the stability, security, and scalability of our network. I prepared some guidelines for properly designing and documenting network infrastructure. First on the list should be defining the network requirements. Before designing a network infrastructure, it is essential to understand the network requirements, such as number of users, devices, the data traffic, security needs, and the scalability requirements. This information will help you to choose the appropriate network topology and devices. Second on the list would be choosing the appropriate network topology. There are several types of network topologies such as star, bus, mesh, and ring topology. Choosing the appropriate topology depend on the network requirements and number of devices that need to be connected. Going to number three, select the appropriate network devices. The network devices such as routers, firewalls, switches should be chosen based on the network topology and requirements. Remember, it is essential to ensure that the devices can handle the network traffic, provide security, and have the necessary features to support the network requirements. On our fourth list should be the network diagram. A network diagram is a visual representation of the whole network infrastructure it should include all the network devices, their interconnections like IP address, the ports, and other relevant information. And the diagram should be updated regularly to reflect any changes in the network. Fifth on the list is that you should develop a network documentation. It should include the network diagram, device configuration, IP address, and also the brand of the device that you are using. And also, this document should be organized and easy to understand so that it can be used for troubleshooting and network maintenance. You should review and update the documentation. This documentation should be reviewed and updated regularly to reflect any changes in the network. This will ensure that the document is accurate and up to date. Now we will be moving to the activity we will create your own network diagram so what we have here is this like a handly drawn uh, network diagram but we need to make it more presentable using this uh, website this is a app drawing IO this is actually free I'm even using this one to create my own uh, network diagram so without further ado let's start Okay, this would be our canvas before we start. So everything is uh, listed here. So before we start, we need to check if we want to know what kind of a uh, diagram we want to use. Actually, you can go already and search for the routers and switches uh, and, and the things that you're trying to look for here. So what I usually do is I'll need to paste the image here, the one that I want to copy. So this would be the diagram that I want to do. And then what we have here is the internet, firewall, router, switch, server, printer. Maybe this is a wireless router, an enterprise one. And then this is the laptop and this is the PC. So to start, we'll just try to, okay, we'll do a simple setting or setup for this one. Okay, okay this is internet. Usually what I'll type is a uh, cloud. See, there's a lot of choices here. Mm, we can go and use this one. Uh, you can, you need to scale this one uh, properly because sometimes when you drop it on the canvas, it's out of proportion. Now for the firewall, you just type firewall. Okay, you have all the listings of the firewall here. Okay, maybe we need, uh, well, what should we use for this? I think this this is enough for now. We'll use this one, a firewall. Next is the router. I guess we'll use this uh, 
router from uh, Cisco specifically from Cisco okay guys for from your side if you have this kind of setup what you can do you do, okay basically it doesn't mean that you need to follow directly the drawing that you have right now but for me uh, it really depends on how you present your uh, diagram now this one is the switch okay the switch uh huh let's see huh I'm not sure if there's a Cisco switch here. Cisco switch. And yeah, we do have a switch here. Maybe we'll use this. Server. To make it more proportion, you just hold shift and it, it will automatically uh, do the resizing uh, correctly because if you don't hold the shift, what will happen is this, you're getting out of proportion just trying to figure out this one. So, so what I'll do is I'll hold the shift right now, I, I want this kind of size, so I'll hold shift and then it will be scalable in a correct proportion. What else? Now the end points. Get type printer. We'll just randomly choose printer here. Maybe this one would do. Then uh, PC should be desktop. Then laptops. Oops. Okay. Now we're in the part that we need to scale everything here. This would be the firewall again. You need to check. The thanks for watching. Firewall. I don't like it. Don't like this one. Doesn't resemble anything like a firewall. It's like a wall, really. I don't like any firewall here. Maybe I'll show you things that you can do here as well. Okay, you can even import image here. Let me see, I'll import inside. Sorry, it should be import from the device. Okay, we'll use this uh, firewall. Okay, it's inside. Okay, shift again. It's kind of pixelated, so I'll just show a small one. And the switch. And everything's connected here. Speed the printer. And the server is here. The end device. So we'll just connect everything here. So this would be our final network diagram. What you can see here is that we inc I included the network devices such as the router, firewall, switches, and the information that you need such as the IP addresses from the firewall, from the router, from the DHCP on the Wi-Fi, even on the DHCP server, and even the printer site. So guys, please make sure that your network documentation is well updated and also well documented.